Hi everybody, it's Talk To Me Tuesday and it is, I don't know, of August. <laughs> I have no idea, 18th of August, something like that. Um, um, not. I've, been, I've done quite a lot of crafty things this week but I can't show them to you because most of them are for the swap. So it's it looks like I've done nothing. Um, but I just want to show you a couple of things I did and then show you the price package I got for last month that Jennifer sent me. So because I've received all those goodies and they're all here. So the only things I have made that I can show you is I made um, <laughs> this Christmas tree. Um, but I didn't have quite enough white fabric to uh, do the outside of this one. So I've got to get some white fabric for it. Um, yes, I know I'm working on Christmas things. It'll be here before you know. And then to go with that, I made this small Christmas tree. And then this one. So the idea is I'm going to hang these on my wall at Christmas in a group of three. So they're my Christmas wall hangings. Or one of them sets. So yes, so I did those. I did try practicing some free motion quilting and realised that I really am not very good at it. Um, and uh, it's definitely not something I'm going to be doing on my project of doom because um, I'm really really not very good at it well can't hear me then if I put my hand over my mouth I'm really not very good at it at all so um, yeah we'll have to see what, what happens to that and then on Friday I picked up the package from the post office that Jennifer sent to me so that was all very exciting and I was going to save it and do a reveal and open it for you but I couldn't wait because I'm like a child um, and I had to see what was in it so I got this here which is a Hobbit poster which I'm going to put up on my wall probably kind of there so you can see it because I am a huge Hobbit fan I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan as you can tell by the name Vicky Baggins um, which was a name that my colleagues at work used to call me. They used to call me Vickity Baggins of the Shire. That's why I have that name. And then um, I also received this very cool all doled up dressing um, quilt pattern, which I love because I am going to um, make it for my daughter because obviously she's quilt mad. And I might even use some of her old baby clothes to make the dresses. So I love that. It's a pattern that I've always looked at and wanted to buy, but just never got around to buying. So that's brilliant. And then I got this very cute little handmade notebook, which I love because it's got orangey pinky paper inside of it. Um, and that is going to be going in my handbag or my Bible studies bag, one of the two. And then I also received a Harry Potter colouring in book. I'm just going to stop and say again, a Harry Potter colouring in book. We can't get these over here. I don't know if this is still something you can buy in America, but not over here. And I just love it. And I just, yeah. I'm thinking maybe I might be able to find something in here to turn into a um, stained glass quilt as well. I don't know. Or I'll just colour them in. Because I'm a big child and I like colouring. <laughs> And then the other thing I got was this very cute little purse which is going to come in very handy because I need to have a good month next month for not spending extra cash. So I'm going to take my cards out and put in here. And inside of that I have some buttons. I think you call them buttons, we call them badges. Oh, excuse me. I've got Breaking Dawn badge. And then some Jennifer's ones. Whoop. I quite like these this is because sewing and because magic because sewing is magic I don't know, love those and then I got a fandom and stitches one which is brilliant of course, talk to me Tuesday I now feel like a proper member of the community because I have a talk to me Tuesday badge that's it you could have sent me that and I would have been happy um, but you didn't you also sent me a bundle of fabric and I got very excited with the fabric my son was watching me open the packet, the box, and he said, Mummy, you've got some Harry Potter fabric. And I was like, yeah, okay. He just thinks it's Harry Potter. But no, it's Harry Potter fabric. It's a lot of Harry Potter fabric. 
and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet um, but it's just the most amazing piece of fabric I've ever had in my collection so I don't know I don't know if there's enough there for me to do um, a pillowcase as per Jennifer's tutorial I will have to figure out if not I think I'll just sit and stare at it for a while and just stroke it every now and then there's that one it's this nice greeny one that looks almost like buttons they're very cute um, pink polka dots always good when you have a little girl blue stars also very cool this one which is like a I think it's a flannel yeah it is a flannel but it's really cute and it's really soft I have to do something with that I have no idea what and there's this cool one which is like a green I don't know, is this like a damask print? It almost looks like it's flocked, but it's not, but it looks like it is. Look that one. And then this one, which I'm going to call a bandana print, because I think they make bandanas out of this fabric, but yes, so is this. So I was really, really chuffed to get all of that. And I was really touched as well, because where I'm in the UK, and it costs so much money to send um, packages over here, you know, I would have been happy just to win a, I don't know, um, downloadable pattern that would have been happy I would have been more than content with that but instead I got a whole heap of lovely goodies oh and I did get which I have started to munch the biggest bag of M&M's in the world it's a huge bag I have started to eat them um, and I had a my friend my, my son had a little boy over to play yesterday and he saw them on the table and he said Oh, you've got M&M's on your table which was a hint for open your M&M's I want to eat them and my son said to him oh no they're mummy's um, mummy's friend from America sent them for her and he said oh you can buy those in Tesco's which is a shop that we have here like um like a Walmart but you know not quite um, and I just thought that's not the point they're from America just don't touch my sweets <laughs> so I just feel a bit like a mean mummy <laughs> to say no you cannot eat my sweets and on that note i'm going to stop waffling and just end this video there before i get a fit of the giggles which i can feel coming um right i'm going um i hope everybody has a fantastic week and thank you so much again for all my wonderful goodies jennifer and co because i know a few people had sent uh, put bits in so thank you thank you thank you thank you um yes bye